Here we got Sean Johnson on number for a few years. We keep this simple. This car has transformed dramatically. Tell us about it. Oh, uh, it's probably had five different uh, setups. It started. Yeah, that's what your dad was saying. Yeah, it started as a 2020 Can Am X3. Uh, and then I decided to throw the uh, compound turbo kit from Ibex on it. Okay. And then. You want to show us that? Yeah. So I got, I still have the stock, uh, Ooh, stock turbo, huge. stock turbo for the, the small turbo and then a 2860 for a big turbo. It's got a, it's a CBR inter, or a radiator, uh, okay. boondocker intercooler, okay. Evo coolant tank. I see you got Rocket on there too. Yeah, yeah we, we all love him. Rocket dialed me in on the, uh, the whips and everything. So all, this whole car has black light on it. Oh, that's sick. I want to see that too. All, all of the green is uh, glow in the dark, so. That's sick. Actually, I think I saw that on your Facebook page. Yeah, so in, in the, if, if you turn all the lights off, it, uh, it'll glow in the dark, but when it's when they're on, it actually just makes it pop too. So yeah. it just looks like that. Because it's fluorescent green. Yeah, that fluorescent green. Yeah. Um, How does the pink pop? Pink pop's really good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so we got hostile picking us up. I, I put hostile. these wheels on there because I was breaking axles. Didn't stop me from breaking axles. So yeah, that was unfortunate. We wish we could have seen the wheelie. Trying to do wheelies. So I was hostile. looking forward to it. Hostile sure. picked us up on the wheels. And then Sandworks, uh, Rich at Sandworks, he did all the chassis work and all the tin work and everything. Is it all one piece now? Yeah, so it's all one piece. So the, the C pillars, B pillars, and the A pillars are all welded together. Yeah, because normally this is where it's all welded, or is this all custom now? So this is where it usually bolts on. So yeah, he welded it right here. Yeah, I can see this is different here. It comes back to right here, and then he tied into the chassis down here. So we oh, created that's... this bumper kind of based off of how the Funkos do it. Yep. Because on all the sand cars, when they're doing wheelies, they have that little bumper on the back right. so that when you hit about 11 or 12 o'clock, it, it'll kick that right. front end back down. So we kind of copied that. Is this also your trail rig still? Uh, so I don't have a trail rig right now. Oh, I it guess could we, be. It could be though. I'm it sure. Could be a trail rig. Yeah. Throw it's, a cooler in the back. Maybe put a platform back there. It's only two wheel drive right now, so we'll have to throw some throw a diff and drive line and axis in there. But oh, you don't have to do that. As long as you keep your speed up, you'll be alright. Yeah. yeah well, what about the driver's side? You want to show us anything? Anything, side anything side. cool over there? Custom uh, fade on all the powder coats. Oh, that's so the, I didn't even notice that. The springs are also faded. Oh, that's sick. And then we did a so. Is that just painted? So we did a fade with the powder coat. Oh. And then we powdered them black, and then we actually just took our finger. Okay. And went around every single spring, so it would. So at night, it, it has that uh, that glow in the dark to where the right. the black kind of shades it. And right. The, the spring really pops. Right. That's there. super cool. I like how you carry the colors around to the radius rods too. Ibex clutching. Ibex clutches. Uh, it's got, it's got the P drive now. Yep. Pro EFI. Uh, EFI. Two. Interior is completely different. Yeah, we got. Uh, I love this strap. seat. Uh, limit straps. S limit straps up front. We're running the Sand Tire Unlimited. Uh, six, yeah. I have 1650s and I also oh, have yeah. 3315 blasters that are on feed locks for the jump competition. Mm -hmm. And then you can't forget about the uh, diode. diode. Diode dynamics. We we with what we did with the chassis, the stock headlights had to go away, so the diode hooked us up with this, these SS3 pods. So we have two right here for the headlights. And then we have two on the eight pillars. And then we also have seven of their uh, their pro pods up on there with the light bar. And then we also designed this right here to where this is on a motor. Oh, this, oh, so this light oh, bar can actually shoot, that's cool. It can point up or down. Right. So if you're out when you're out and about, just yeah, so like wherever you at, need your light. I was at the bottom of the hill last night and I actually I tilted it up and I was shining it on the whole hill. That's impressive. Yeah. I was too busy partying to see that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go get some videos last night of a bit dark with all the UV stuff, so I went over to the bottom of the hill and got a few videos. Nice. Yeah. You have to send me a picture and I'll throw it in the video. Yeah, sure. Cool. I appreciate you doing the interview yeah, too. Yeah, oh, of course. Uh, armor too. Armor coating is the one who did all of the powder coat. So we took the whole chassis to him first, and then we did the chassis, and then um, it took probably you know, it took probably a good 36 hours of straight powder coating to do everything on this car 
So definitely a big shout out to Jeff Swain and uh, Armor Coatings. They're in uh, Taylorsville. So okay. definitely yeah, check, check those them guys out. out. Support yeah. the cause. They're awesome. So, yeah, cool. appreciate it. Well, appreciate you, Sean. Yeah. It's always good seeing you guys. Yeah.